Hello, gentlemen. Uh, my name is Michael Russo. I'm the director of student activities at school. Uh, so normally in March, we would have had a meeting in which the moderators of a lot of these leadership groups challenged you guys to get involved and to answer the call to leadership. And that's what we're doing with this video. Uh, while we can't all be together in the same room, maybe it's the fact that we're actually not together in the same room that will serve as that challenge to lead. I think over the last couple of months, we probably all realized what we miss most about the SMET. And my guess is it's a lot of the people, a lot of the memories, a lot of the events that we've gone to, the games, the crowds. And uh, we're asking you guys to play a, a leading role in that in the future to make the SMET, uh, the community thrive and, and make it everything that it can be. So uh, what we're gonna do is kind of share some thoughts. We've asked Grant Eggman to kind of record some thoughts. Most of you guys might remember him. He was a great leader and got involved in a lot of different things. He helped with student government. He helped with campus ministry. He was an ambassador. So he was a, a guy that kind of did it all. Uh, and then we've also shared some quick, quick thoughts from current students involved in the various leadership roles to just give you a little bit of an idea of what everything's about. So uh, please enjoy the video. Hopefully it's a little bit informative. And I think you guys know which teachers you can reach out to if you needed any kind of help or questions. Uh, but you can certainly email me or Miss Bowers, anything student council related. Mrs. Lang for Ambassadors, Dr. Callahan for Campus Ministry, and Mrs. Grimm for Compañeros. What's up to Smet? This is Grant Stegman, uh, class of 2019. Just want to talk to you upcoming seniors about the opportunity you guys have in front of you um, as seniors, just to uh, sort of get involved uh, and leave the school. Um, and I think for me, the biggest, biggest way I did that uh, was using my passions, um, kind of bringing that out into what I wanted to get involved in at school. Um, so for me, I was big into campus ministry and things like that. Um, so, it's, I mean, it's different for everybody. So just finding what kind of you're passionate about and what you enjoy and bring that into, into the school and trying to make it better. Um, and I think for you seniors, it's kind of your responsibility uh, to lead the school. Um, and that's a big, a big word, yes, but I think you guys can do it. And kind of the school, school legacy, school culture kind of lies in your hands at this point. Um, and it's... It's up to you guys what you want to make out of it. Um, kind of bring your four years of the SMET together um, and kind of close it out in a good light um, to make a difference at the school um, and bring the change you guys want to bring. I think that starts with your leadership um, this year or this next coming year. And um, I, I miss you guys back there at D Block. Hope you guys are doing okay. Um, just wanted to talk to you seniors. Um, uh, make the most of make the most of your of your final year because you guys will miss it. Uh, just wanted to uh, encourage you guys to get involved and seek that change and um, continue to cement great culture that we have uh, for the future. See you guys. This time last year, um, when I was in the application process for getting into different homerooms like you guys are now, um, there was a ton of different great choices that I could have gone with, uh, such as admissions and campus ministry. But I ended up going with Stuco because Stuco, it just sounded like a lot of fun um, and a great opportunity to be a leader. And honestly, going in, I, I knew probably two kids that were in the homeroom with me, and that's just because they were in my grade. Um, but it really gave me a great opportunity to meet some awesome, some awesome guys, uh, seniors and sophomores, who I probably would have never got to know had it not been for Stuco. Um, so that's just, a, it was a lot of fun getting to know these guys, bonding with them. Um, and then also, Stuco has just been a great opportunity for me to be a leader in the school and to actually make change in the school. And that has really been beneficial for me um, because looking back, uh, I'll know that I'll, I'll have made a, a change at the SMET. Uh, and it, it also really helps help de develop my leadership skills, uh, which will definitely help me later in life, um, looking for a job, stuff like that. So I, I strongly suggest you guys um, consider joining Stuco. It is a ton of fun. Um, you get to meet some awesome guys and it's just a great opportunity to be a leader and develop your leadership skills. Kind of what we do as ambassadors is get to know the kids who are coming to look at this mat and kind of show them what it's like to be a Spartan. Uh, some of the stuff that we do is talk to the parents and answer some questions that they might have, uh, give tours, help at open houses, and help at other events. And the goal is kind of just to make them feel welcomed and comfortable and show them like what this meant's about. All right, thank you. 
Ian, what is your favorite part about being an ambassador? Um, my favorite part about being an ambassador is the just getting to know new guys coming in and the bond that um, is created between the juniors and seniors within the admissions homeroom. And the special special days like knockout tournaments and top golf visits over the summer. All right. Um, do you guys have what do you think younger Spartans should get involved with ambassadors? Uh, I think younger uh, Spartans should get involved because I think it's pretty easy to. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you get to show uh, incoming freshmen how great this met is. So you're kind of like shaping the classes coming in. Uh, All right. So yeah. Do you think you have any, you're learning any life skills from working with me and Mr. Sullivan? Definitely. You definitely get a better sense of uh, understanding for public speaking. You get to learn how to talk to adults, how to give presentations. You speak in front of parents in the morning, give handshakes, and it just allows you to become more comfortable in situations where you're meeting new people. Hey, guys. Uh, I think that there are a lot of good reasons to be a compañero, um, but I think my favorite thing about it uh, was seeing my homeroom get more used to each other, get more used to high school, and, you know, become friends with each other and just grow as young guys. Um, they might not let you know, but they really do appreciate the work that you do. So uh, thanks for considering this. So basically, as a junior compañero, what your responsibility is, is you're going to plan activities for the freshmen to do throughout the year at their homeroom and um, usually about once a week you'll go up to the homerooms and help carry out the activities with the seniors and it's a really good opportunity to not only get senior interaction but also freshman interaction and it's a really good opportunity to learn how to develop your leadership experience at the SMET. Hey guys, Jacob Blue here. I just want to talk a little bit about campus ministry for you guys. So campus ministry is the best room in the school located across Stucco. And what we do there is we plan a lot of daily and um, all school masses, but also we plan and go on to a lot of the retreats. Um, that's one of my favorite things I did in campus ministry was do host a lot of retreats. Um, we also do dip every Friday morning and morning announcements. Um, Besides that, the reason I love Campus Ministry so much is because I made all my friends there. When I joined, it was just two of us, James and I, but like throughout the years, I met a lot of my friends there and a lot of underclassmen. Hey guys, so by now you should have heard a little bit about some of the various leadership opportunities, and I just wanted to briefly explain the logistics of applying. So if you see the link in your email, you will be brought to this leadership application form. And a lot of it is self-explanatory. The beginning part explains what we're asking of each of you guys and some of the major events that we all help work together. And then uh, when you get down to number five and number six, just wanted to explain to you the differences. For number five, uh, these are exclusive positions in the sense that you couldn't be in more than one since they're homeroom positions. So for instance, you couldn't be part of the student council leadership team and also probably part of the campus ministry core team but you can apply to as many as you would like, okay? Uh, and then what number six is, is there's lots of ways to get involved even outside of the homeroom. So for instance, if you were part of the president ambassador's leadership team and we're in the admissions homeroom, you still could say that you'd like to be a campus ministry. You'd like to let Mr. Hall know you'd like to be considered for sports and spirit. You want to let me and Ms. Bowers know you want to still be in Stuco. Uh, maybe you want to be an ascent leader. So definitely please consider all the different ways that you think you can spend your talents and donate your talents to our school to be a leader. Uh, the rest of these should be pretty self-explanatory. Do take some time to, to answer them though. Like for number nine and number 10, I think we're hoping for more than one sentence. You know, give, 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 a, give some thought to it and maybe share a paragraph's worth of, of thoughts. Um, and then for you know, number 13 and number 14, the moderators of each club are committed to interviewing every applicant. So that might be a group of, of applicants at once, but we want to know at what point during the school day or days are you most able to chat? Maybe your PE period, your study hall period, and then also are you able to meet outside of school? Okay, so we're asking that these forms be submitted no later than Tuesday, April 28th, uh, so that we can kind of begin the process of selecting and, and interviewing guys. 
So please do spend some time in reflection, listening to where you're called to lead. Uh, spend some time thinking about how you want to get involved next year. And uh, I hope you guys answer the call and take the challenge to become part of the DISMET community, uh, to become part of the DISMET that we miss so much right now, and to become part of the DISMET that we need so much in the future. Thank you guys. I uh, hope you are having a great day and I hope you have a great weekend. And I can't wait to get to talk to you guys soon.